Welcome to ECLIMU Learning Simplified and welcome to this lesson. In the previous lesson, we discussed the states of equilibrium that is stable, unstable, and a neutral equilibrium. In this lesson, we are going to discuss factors affecting the stability of our body, and then later we will look at the application of stability of our body. My name is Albert. I hope you will enjoy the lesson. By the end of this lesson, I expect you to be able to describe the factors affecting stability of our body, then finally describe at least five applications of stability. So the first factor that affects stability of our body is the position of the center of gravity of that body. If the position of the center of gravity is so low, then the body is stable. And if the position of the center of gravity is so high, then that body is less stable. Like in this case, if you have two bodies lying on this table, then the first one is conical like this one here. Then the other one is an inverted cone. Inverted cone like this. And now in this case, which one is more stable? We determine stability by constructing the position of the center of gravity. In this case, for the first diagram, we said the position of the center of gravity is determined by drawing perpendicular bisector, which forms a 90 degrees angle with these sides of this triangle. So in this case, when you draw perpendicular bisector like this, this one where they meet at this point, this will be our COG. COG, that is the center of gravity, and let's give it a height of H1 or HO. Then the second diagram is also a cone, and in this case, for you to get the center of gravity, you also draw perpendicular bisectors, and you bisect this part here, say that this is 90, then this one you also bisect this side here, so that this one is 90, then you draw another perpendicular bisector like that, so that this point is 90. Now, where did this meet? This is the COG, this is the COG, but if you look at this, this height of the second uh, cone is very high, if we can label it H2 or H1 in this case. So here, the position of the center of gravity is high, here, the position of the center of gravity is very low. So, and you can see this body, if you displace it slightly, then this COG will still lie within the base. The weight of this will lie still within the base, and then it's going to return back to its original position. But for the second diagram, if you displace it slightly, the position of this center of gravity will fall outside the base, and then the body is going to topple over. And this one also, you can even experience it when you have a bild books. If you have very small books at the base and then large books at the top, those books are likely to fall. But if you have large books at the bottom, then you have small books at the top, then they are stable because the large books will have a large mass, therefore, and a large surface and a large base area, therefore, the center of gravity will be as low as possible. So for a body to be stable, it must have low position of the center of gravity. If it has high center of gravity, then it's going to be unstable. So the second factor that affects stability of a body is the base area of that body. If the base area is wide, then the body is more stable. And if it, the base area is small, then that body is less stable and i'm going to give one or two elaborate example here if this is the table or this is the floor then you have your cone you have your cone in this position you have it like that in this case this cone will be very stable because the base area this is what we call the base area the base area is very large Therefore, here if you draw your perpendicular bisectors, you are going to get 
your center of gravity at this point. And if you try to displace this cone slightly, like this, it's going to, to tilt slightly with its position of center of gravity maintained within the base. So in this case, still the center of gravity will lie within the base. Here it was lying here. The weight of this body was lying there. And here after um, displacing it slightly, still the weight will lie within this base here. So in this case, when the base area is wide, a body is more stable. Now let's look at the second scenario where we have uh, a very small base area. And in this case, if this is your floor, then you have your cone. But in this case, it's inverted. If you have an inverted cone like this one here, then now if you draw your perpendicular bisectors, in this case, they are going to form a center of gravity which is raised at that point there, which is here. This is our COG. And in this position, the center of gravity or the weight of this body is lying within this base. But what you can see, this base is very small. And now, if you displace this cone slightly, if you displace it slightly, what you will realize when it gets displaced like this, the position of the center of gravity with your bisectors on the same position. So in this case, the position of the center of gravity will lie outside. Outside the base is here, it will lie outside the base. And in this case, the body will be unstable and it will topple and it will never return back to its original position. So in short here, the larger the base area, the most stable the body is, and the less the, the, the base area, then the less the stable the body is. So we have some of the applications of stability of our body, and these applications are based majorly on the two factors that affect stability of our body, that is base area and the position of the center of gravity. Like in this case, the first case we have is containers for liquids, especially in the laboratory, we have conical flasks. These conical flasks are conical in shape, and then they have a very wide base area. They have a very wide base area in such a way that their center of gravity is as low as possible. And if you displace them slightly, the the weight of this body will still be maintained within the base of this conical flask. Another one is racing cars, like those of Formula One. They have a very wide wheels and very low body, and that one maintains them to have the lowest center of, of gravity and a very wide base, and in that case, stability is enhanced. The third application of stability is bus cargo placement. And what we are going to realize is that buses carry cargo below passenger levels to maintain a low COG. Remember, low COG is maintained by having more mass below or at the bottom and then less mass at the top. In that case, COG will be lowered and that prevents these buses from toppling over. Students are also encouraged to be in a seated position when they are traveling using bus because if they stand, they are going to raise the COG of the bus and it's likely to topple over. Another application is hydrometer. An hydrometer is an instrument used to measure the density of liquids, the relative density of liquids like milk and other liquids. So it has a very wide base and that base is also is very heavy because it's filled with beads and in that process it is made heavy at the base so that it can be more stable and it can stand upright inside the liquids in which it's measuring its relative density so what we are going to realize uh, we are going to learn this in form 4 an hydrometer looks like this it has a very thin bulb and then at the base it has a very wide base. 
filled with bits. So if you put it inside a container carrying some liquid, it's going to be in upright position courtesy of its wide base, wide base and heavy. Heavy base, it has bits which make it heavy. So in the process, it can measure relative density with the bulb outside that liquid. So the fifth application is in the burns and burner and the designs of burns and burners. What we are going to realize, a burns and burner has a very thin uh, chimney like that. Then it has a hair hole there. And then below here, it has a very wide base. This wide and heavy base ensure that the center of gravity of this burns and burner will lie at this point down here. Therefore, any displacement any slight displacement, the mass or the weight of this burns and burner will still lie within the base of this burns and burner. So in that way, the stability of a burns and burner is maintained. Then the sixth one is carrying a basket of water. What you will realize is that when you are carrying a basket of water using one hand, you will instinctively lean your body towards the other end where you don't have the water. The reason why you do that is to adjust your body so that the COG is as low as possible so that you maintain stability. So in this case, you are not going to lower your COG. You are only adjusting. You are adjusting your center of gravity so that you maintain a stable movement. So another application is in the furniture design. And what we are going to realize, furnitures like chairs, stools, and tables, even the triple stand that we use in the laboratory, they have more than three legs, and those legs are spread over. Like if you have a stool like this one here, it has more than three legs, like that is the first one, this the second one, then the, we have the third one here, even the fourth one, and these legs now are covering a very wide area in such a way that if you displace it slightly, the weight of this stool will still fall within the base of this stool. And in that case, stability will be maintained. So that marks the end of our lesson today and the end of our topic, equilibrium and the center of gravity. In the next lesson, we will be discussing a new topic that is deflection on curved surfaces.